Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2906, which is a hard level. We can tell by the purple in the skull, and oh my goodness, I'm so tired of all these hard levels right in a row. 22 moves to clear out 69 jelly. Uh, it's tougher than even if we had 81 jelly, because the reason we don't have jelly on all of the squares on this 9x9 grid is because we have these cutouts, and the cutouts put things in isolation. Plus we've got meringue frosting and regular frosting and lots of strange things going on. Have you ever wondered why this is called frosting and it's in like a tin? <laughs> I'm uh, Norwegian by descent, partly. I have all sorts of things, but Norwegian is one of them. And my grandmother was born in Norway and we used to make these uh, sand buckles, sand cookies, using tins that look just like this. I actually still make them, but um, not as regularly as we did as I was growing up. I still have the tins in my drawer. Okay, so I'm just trying to make as many specials as I can. And I have to figure out a way to reach into these crevices, so that's going to be tough to do. I really need a color bomb opportunity, and I think I can get one here. Let's make a stripe and set one off, and oh, we'll set this off again. And now that I've got some space here, I need to try to create, oh, actually, I'll do a striped drift combo, too. That's a really helpful addition to this board. Now, remember, on hard levels, I don't expect to get done with them right away, so it may take me a while to figure out how to do this. Ah, I was trying to do something with the orange, and it all collapsed. Um, so this is probably not going to be my last attempt. It's only my first attempt. If you just want to see me beat the level, you may want to just advance to the last two minutes of the board, of the um, of the recording. How could I get an orange here? I don't see it. Uh, the raft candy is only going to help slightly, but it may just kind of explode things and clear a better path for us. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got that color bomb, and now we have another color bomb. And so if I take out all blue from the board, that helps. Plus, it's going to hopefully give me a chance to set this with something else. It did not. So I will take out all green because color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. We're going for those big cascades and moves here. I think that if I had gotten those a little bit earlier in the game, this would have turned out differently for me. But I couldn't capitalize on that nearly as well. I didn't have the turns to uh, try to move things around to get a combo. So let's go ahead and try this again, knowing now what we know. Clearing out the center area, so crucial to my plan. Trying to make moves a bit low to the ground to encourage cascading, but it's hard because this is blocked here. So I'm going to open this up first. Okay. So now we've got more space. That means more opportunity. I'm going to make a color bomb. It's going to be taken out right away, but that's okay. I could make some other things, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose this opportunity if I don't take it right away. Because there are only four colors on the board, it's relatively easy to make specials, and that means it's relatively easy to accidentally detonate them. I could try for a color bomb with the purple... But I don't see that as being a likely opportunity, and I do like the striped wrapped combos. And now hopefully this will open something else up for me. Well, maybe with the green here? This way or this way? I'm going to go this way because it sits down on the board a bit further, and so it's more likely I'll be able to set it up with another special. Ooh. Well, let's do this. Take out a color. I was hoping these would match together. Taking out a layer of everything would be fantastic. Not going to happen. I'm going to remove all purple from the board. See how one color bomb gives me another. Uh, I kind of want to put these together, but I don't have orange properly aligned. So I'm going to take out all blue from the board instead. And now I'm going to do this, which is just going to take out a color. Concentrating things down. I've got more color bombs here. So now I think I'll take out blue again. 
opening up these corners. Oh, well, that took out another color at least. An efficiency of moves. I didn't have to do anything to get that to happen. I've got something double thick there. So, yeah, let's take out orange. That seems like the best move. Uh-oh. Go, Cascading, go. There we go. Got it. All right, so that wasn't too bad. It was actually kind of fun once we open up that area to be able to try to get a color bomb and then just make one color bomb turn into a subsequent color bombs. Because if we've only got four colors on the board, it's easy to make a color bomb. And then if we take one of those colors away, it's even easier. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.